<clears throat> I'm not gonna lie, I actually thought high school was gonna be like high school musical. Not even kidding. Um, but I mean, I had such a good time in high school. It was honestly the best like four years of my life. So it was pretty close to it, just no dance numbers or anything, sadly. Hi, I'm Zoe Perrin, this year class of 2019. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is David Rodriguez. I'm currently about to graduate from Cypress Creek High School. I have been there for three and a half years now, almost four. Once June 1st hits, that'll be it. And I just wanted to take a minute of your time to tell you about my experience throughout high school and how I used to be in baseball. And I soon figured out that baseball wasn't necessarily for me. And I wanted to focus more on my love and my passion for cooking. And throughout doing that, I have had many doors and many great experiences open up for me. And I honestly do believe that it is one of the best things that has ever happened to me. I am Maddie Raspierski, and I went to Cywoods High School, and I was a captain for the swim and water polo team. One of my favorite memories when I was on the team was when we won districts for the first time. Everyone was so excited, and we were so happy, and we were so spirited, and it was just, we really became a team, really more of a family at that point. My name is Kate Hanneth Culp, and I'm a senior at Cywoods High School, and I was in the band for the past four years, and my best memory probably is marching on the NRG Stadium. I liked marching on the stadium just because the fact that the Texans are like a big, big artists also play on that as well. Um, it's just super cool that uh, being a part of the band took me to somewhere like that. Um, I was a little overwhelmed because it was my very first football game. Um, I was a freshman, just got into high school, very first football game, seeing that crowd. It was absolutely ridiculous. Hi, I'm Lily Roberts, and I plan to go to Texas State University next year and get my degree in elementary education. I love kids so much, and I think that especially in elementary school, they're at such a young age and it's really fun and I don't know, I just love taking care of kids. <laughs> Hi, my name is Bryce Sen. Uh, I was homeschooled and so I am proof that all homeschool kids aren't weird. Wait, hold on, I'm Bryce Sen. I am weird, ha! So I go to Concordia Lutheran High School. I was part of varsity um, cheerleading. I was also an FFA. I'm manager for the shotgun team. I'm in FCA. I'm in just a bunch of little stuff, but my favorite memory by far has to be in, um, has to be junior year when we made um, it to state, the state championship for our basketball team and we won state that year. And also this year when our varsity cheer team um, won state this year too. Hello, my name is Ben Beasley. Uh, I attended Cy Fair High School and uh, I was involved with football and um, National Honor Society and a memory that really stuck to me throughout high school was sophomore year during a football game. I got my uh, very first uh, interception. After I caught the interception, I remember just running down the field. I don't really remember where I was running, if it was even the right direction. And I remember after running to the stands and telling my mom that I loved her. <laughs> So I played soccer all my life, and when I got to high school, I joined uh, the soccer team, and I was on varsity soccer for three years, and then I've also been in choir throughout my whole four years of high school. Um, I'm also, my senior year, I was part of the Wild Things, which is our, um, we were like a student leadership thing for um, our, like a spirit team, I guess you could say, and yeah, that was a lot of fun, so. That's basically what I did. My soccer season last year, we have never gotten past round two of the playoffs and getting past round two uh, to go to round three was just a lot of fun and what made history basically. And it was, yeah, it was really important. To we have never gotten past round two in Sci Fair ever. So um, yeah, we were glad that we were the team that did it. Well, for the past three years, the cheer team has been like robbed basically every year. Like we've had legalities, which is just like illegal stuff, but just like really kind of dumb stuff. So like when we won state this year, it's kind of like finally because we've always been that close, but been had like setbacks that are that weren't like against us. It was about like the rules and stuff. So when we won, it was just like a big like relief for all the seniors at least, like finally. But it was an awesome feeling and. 
I wouldn't have wanted it with any other team. My love of cooking came from both my mom and my dad, especially throughout all the times that I was growing up. My mom, we never went out to eat. Mom would always have food ready when we got home, always have snacks and everything ready. And also from all the nights that I spent trying to stay up late with my dad, even though he wouldn't let me, and cook barbecue with him for jobs. So for college, I'm planning on going to community college for the basics, because you know, moolah, 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 because there's 10 people in my house. So, uh, and then I'm hoping to go to Sam, but most likely Baylor, because it's closer, so. I'm going to James Massey University in Harrisonburg, Virginia, and I picked it because we used to live in Virginia when I was little, and I've always wanted to go back to the area. And um, it's a beautiful school, a great business school, and everyone there is just so happy and excited to be there. And I just, I fell in love with the, with the friendliness. I plan on attending Texas Tech for mechanical engineering, and uh, hopefully one day um, be a mechanical engineer just like my father. I'd like to be an engineer because I look up to my dad and he's someone who I could always rely on and count on and he's just very smart and I just love problem solving the way he does it around the house. I am planning to attend Baylor University in Waco and I plan to try out for cheer there. That's in April so we'll see how that goes and I'm also going to major in communication. I've always been like really outgoing and it just seems like the right major for me. Kind of, I don't really know what I'm going to do with it just yet, but I think it's just a really good start just to look around and see what I might like. My future plans after high school are to go to August Escoffier School of Culinary Arts where I can go and devote more of my time and passion into learning more about culinary arts. And throughout the time of me being there, there will be two chefs that come from Disney World twice a year and they choose about 18 students to go to Disney and either cook at Disney or go on a cruise ship and cook. And my number one goal and dream is to be a part of that cruise ship and be able to go out and cook. I just really wanna cook for Mickey. I plan on going to Texas A&M University and I plan on attending the College of Engineering to pursue a bachelor's in computer engineering because I find that these days computers are more so going everywhere such as phones computers cars you know they're going all over the world and everyone's using them in their every their everyday life so with them becoming a part of, every, of someone's everyday life I would want to make a big impact upon that but don't worry I'm not going to create a robot to take over the world if I had to give a freshman advice to go to high school I would say Join as many clubs as you can because you create so many friends from that you don't even realize and having a lot of friends in high school goes such a long way. Also stay close to your teachers because you know teachers in high school are they help you succeed in life with teacher recommendations and everything for college and uh, they're really important and uh, yeah so stay sh close to your teachers and friends. Advice I would give a freshman would definitely be to get involved. Um, being involved helps you out very much so. Just the fact that if you get into clubs, organizations such as bands, sports, anything like that, it just looks very good for college and plus it helps you get a lot of friends and it involves you around your community. If I had any advice to give to incoming freshmen in high school, I would just say enjoy it, but also take it as seriously as you can because I didn't really start thinking about college until junior year and it it affects you in the long run. So freshman and sophomore year, don't slack off. I would really take charge of your classes. If I could give advice to myself when I was a middle schooler, I would say really focus on your grades. My freshman year, I really took for granted. And I didn't do badly, but I, I think I would have taken it a little bit more seriously because it just, it gets harder every year. <laughs> if I had to give advice to other homeschoolers, or maybe in general, to every high schooler or teenager, stay in school. It'll help you get through so you don't have to stay with your crazy family. It's really helpful. I would just say to be yourself when you get into high school, meet your right friends, because you're gonna be with them for four years. Um, just be with the right people. Be with the people that are gonna make you happiest and um, join what you love and yeah. A memory that stood out in CUMC would definitely be whenever I helped out with the gum ministries down in Galveston for a mission trip. We helped build a deck and we helped out with the community just by giving them food, helping out the kids and just playing with them. And that, helped, that 
was a big moment for me just more so because I got an insight to the, to the other world like to see like what other people actually go through while I'm living in here. My one of my favorite memories at Cypress UMC is definitely working the VBS um, every summer. It's you know I love kids so much uh, that's why I want to be a teacher and just working with the kids at this church went so much to me and I learned so much. Um, it's one of the many reasons why I wanted to be one a teacher so um yeah working the vbs was a lot of fun and i will continue to work this summer so it's hard for me to pinpoint my favorite moments here at cumc because i've literally been in like every single group there really is like uh the media doing mission trips wesley 100 uh all the activities that we really have here the mission trips but i think one of my favorite things that i've ever really done here is doing some of the mission trips uh, mostly uh, UM Army because I've had a lot of fun there and I've met a lot of good people that I'm actually still in contact with and that's probably the best thing that I've ever done and if you're able to go to UM Army I suggest doing it it'll change your life forever. Well, I went on the Galveston mission trip um, two year, um, for two years um, I forgot like middle school around middle school and that was like my first mission trip that really really opened my eyes and um, it was like any like it was just unlike any experience I've ever like anything I've ever done like I it that's where I really like saw like I wanted to go out and I wanted to help more and I that just really impacted me because I was just so young when I went but now it just like has taught me just to go out and help yeah definitely just hanging out with the kids and just like like even some kids that were close to my age, like them like not having like any anything and like me just like coming, just hanging out with them brought them so much joy and that really impacted me and that's what I take back from that mission trip is just hanging out with kids. And A specific memory at uh, Cypress UMC would be the Galveston Ministry uh, mission trip. I believe that it shaped me and showed me that um, no matter where you are or how broken everything looks around you that there's always gonna be people there to help whether that's volunteers or people in the community or people coming from other communities. I just believe that there's always hope. One of my most memorable experiences here at Cypress United Methodist Church was probably the seven and a half years that I have worked with celebrity chef Jay the Caterer. He has helped me in many, many ways get prepared and also be a mentor for me and push me along to achieve my goals and just help me understand how to reach them. And he, I know he always has my back. And there was one year that he allowed me to do a cooking camp by myself, which I had, when I was a child, I attended. And I went from attending it to now teaching it. I did the confirmation class when I was in eighth grade and I remember walking in knowing absolutely nobody. And just uh, the love that I received walking in was unbelievable. I made so many friends I'm still friends with today and hang out with all the time. And just the love of the people here is just unmatchable. I'm looking forward to, I don't know, just living on my own and kind of being more independent by myself. I mean, I love my parents, you know, taking care of me. I'm definitely going to miss that, but I'm really looking forward to, you know, living my own life and seeing where um, I can take myself. I'm definitely going to miss my mom's cooking um, and her doing my laundry. That's a big one. Yeah, I'm just going to, and I'm going to miss um, my dog a lot. I look forward to being on my own in college, that way I can find out more about myself and my personal habits and how I'll take care of everything uh, without having any extra help to be there for me at all times. <laughs> and I'm not excited to be on my own because I don't know who's going to cook and do all my laundry and pay for all the groceries. <laughs> I'm really, really excited just to meet all the new people and just to get in a new environment and live by myself and just get that college experience, but I'm not really excited for the studying for all the tests because I wasn't that good about it in high school, but just like the studying, keeping up with my classes and keeping up with other stuff too. I'm definitely going to miss the most um, just being around my mom all the time. Just whenever she's just like home, like just texting her like, hey, come upstairs, like let's hang out or something like that. As I move on to this next chapter of my life, 
Uh, something I'm really looking forward to is some independence. Mostly that stands for not having 20 siblings all over me at the same time. No. Something that I'm not looking forward to in the next chapter of my life. Oh, nothing. I, I'm looking forward to all of it. I can say that, right? I'm really looking forward to being able to create my own life and kind of learn things on my own, but I'm really going to miss my parents, and if I really do need something, I can always go to them. It's going to be hard being so far away. Something I'm most looking forward to is this more so being independent, kind of growing up on my own, and just starting to go into the real world and learn. The thing I'm dreading the most is definitely getting up on my own every single morning, just because I can't do that. <laughs> Every morning I set about four alarms and I don't wake up, so my mom yells at me for about 30 minutes. I still don't get up, so. This is the point in the video where I'm supposed to talk about how much I'm looking forward to getting out of the nest, AKA my house and my parents, and leaving and going to college. But in my case, I'm not very happy about going and doing all that because that means that I'm gonna be leaving all of my family and my friends here and especially the church community that has helped me so much throughout my time of growing up and it means a lot to me so it's going to be a little rough but we'll make it but no need to worry because i will make sure to have as much fun as i possibly can and stay safe and i will also make sure to come back and visit everyone to all of our parents the class of 2019 would like to say something to you Mom and Dad, thank you for shaping me into the person that I am today. I don't think I would be as confident or as much of a leader as I am today. You have truly made me who I am, and I'm going to take that to heart for the rest of my life. Thank you so much for everything that you've done. I love you. Hey, Mom and Dad, I just wanted to let you know that I love you and I appreciate you very much and everything that you've done for me over these years and really raising me right and treating me uh kindly and giving me good morals to live off of and I know Lubbock's far away but just know I'm only a call away hey mom dad uh I know I joke around a whole lot but now it's time to get real uh I want to thank you for being there for me through the ups the downs the good the bads and the uglies uh for my highs and for my lows I know because of all my illnesses and stuff it's been kind of hard to raise me along with six or seven other children sorry it's hard to count um, and so I want to thank you for taking care of me and always being there for me. Uh, thank you, and I love you. Mom and Dad, I just wanted to take a minute to tell you how much I appreciate y'all and how much I love y'all for everything that you've ever done for me, whether it was showing up late at night to my baseball games or waking up super-duper early to go to my culinary arts competitions and just to be there no matter what and always be my number one fans. I also appreciate everything that you've done to raise me, even though I know it's been hard at times, but y'all made me a very good person, I believe, and I appreciate everything that you've ever done for me. It means a lot. Um, Mom and Dad, I love you. Uh, thank you for taking care of me all my life, obviously. Um, thank you for making my childhood the best. You're still going to be with me. I don't know why I'm asking pretending you're not going to be with me, but um, thank you for taking me to every soccer game, choir, event, um, just always supporting me no matter what I wanted to do or um, anything I wanted to do, and just thank you for always being with me by my side and uh, loving me no matter what. I'm going to miss you so much, Mom. I love you so much. I'm crying, so it's fine, but I'm going to miss you so much. Thank you very much for always being there for me and always pushing me to do my absolute best. I know sometimes it was very hard because sometimes I'm very independent and sometimes I'm just quiet all the time, but y'all do very much for me and more so than I could ever appreciate and more than I can ever thank y'all for. I love y'all very much and I'll miss y'all whenever I go to college. Look out, world. The class of 2019 is coming for you.